So here we got another driver uh, reactivated after they were wrongfully um, deactivated. And I want to read you Uber's response and explain a little bit how the process works, right? So the main thing is here, uh, we counted with the legal letter, sent it to the right department, um, gave them the driver's um, argument statement, the chance to appeal, and um, they then get the information, sometimes the evidence. Um, if that is not good enough, we always proceed to small claims court and in small claims court, um, you know, just filing the paperwork and serving it, you get these type of results. So here they say, um, the main thing is, however, upon further review, which they've reviewed our appeal that we sent through this legal team, Uber has determined that it will reactivate, there it is, that will reactivate your driver account subject to the following non-negotiable conditions. Reactivation by Uber of your driver account fully resolves your claims against Uber and fully releases Uber from your claim. So that's what we did is we packaged up this claim against them and said, hey, if you don't comply, you are going to pay dearly, right? Your image, your name, the damages, dollar damages will go after you in everywhere. And it's, and it's, and it's really, really inexpensive. You are not hiring attorneys uh, for $5,000, right? Just for a retainer. And that can just go upwards, ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 to fight for you. No, we show you the most cost effective way to get back on the platform. Because guess what? Getting back on the platform means you are making money, right? And this method that I have worked out with attorneys works, but it takes you to participate. So there are a lot of drivers that give up halfway through the process. And then they're surprised why they did not get reactivated. You have to walk the walk and talk the talk and follow through on our one, two, three steps to get reactivated, right? Now, if you have had multiple prior warnings, guess what? They are going to bring out all the dirty uh, laundry. They are going to expose you uh, in small claims court. So make sure going in, you know, hey, I was truly, truly wrongfully deactivated. There's only cases we want, right? Right. We, we don't want people that have a laundry list of issues and you just cannot get them back on the platform because there were just too many warnings in the past, right? If you truly were wrongfully deactivated over a wrongful report by a rider, which as happens 99% of the time, we will fight and fight and fight and get you back in the game. So on this particular one, they said sexual assault and sexual misconduct of any kind is prohibited. Aggressive, confrontational or harassing behavior is not allowed. Don't use language, make gestures or take actions that could be disrespectful, discriminatory, threatening or inappropriate as a result of the complaints Uber received, not one complaint, but complaints Uber received and investigated. Uber determined you violated company policy and your driver account was deactivated right now. However, upon further review, because we presented the case, Uber has determined that it will reactivate your driver account. And this guy, I've got to say, and no names mentioned, but he got rather lucky because there were other complaints and we still got him back in. Right. So nothing I want to repeat it. Nothing is a guarantee. You, you, it, any attorney that you hire out there, right? If you go into court, whether it's to civil court or criminal court, an attorney cannot guarantee you a victory. If you are suing someone for $20,000 or $10,000 or $100,000, no attorney in the world can guarantee you and say, Hey, I will win this case for you. No, they go in and give it their best shot. And we do the same, right? I will fight and argue with Uber and Lyft, DoorDash, Amazon Flex, Grubhub, Postmates, with all of them, if a driver was wrongfully deactivated. Tell me the true story so I can 
hand it to these paralegals who will attach it to a letter and we can go after them, right? So we can go after them. Uh, we go after Uber Technologies Incorporated, Lyft Incorporated, whoever it is. We'll go after them and present your case, your appeal. Most of the drivers do not know who to contact, uh, who to reach out to, what to do, what steps have to be taken. And $89 for this um, this process is nothing, ladies and gentlemen. It's absolutely nothing. You go to any attorney and have them draft a letter for you, just a basic letter, one page, and they will charge you $350 to $500 for one page. So the amount of work I have to do, the team has to do for $89 is nothing. It is worth taking a uh, um, an $89 chance, right, to get, to potentially get your account back, right? Um, we will give it our best and we love results like this when they say, hey, we've reviewed it. However, we've seen, we have these allegations against you, not just one, but several, but after receiving this letter and the review, we have determined that we will reactivate your account. So I get results, my friends. I get results, but I only get the results if you understand that you have to sometimes go all the way, right? We warn them. We tell them what's coming. If they don't uh, reactivate, then they could potentially end up in small claims court. So it takes a team here, you and us, to get the right result. And check it out. The link is below. If you have been wrongfully deactivated, wrongfully terminated, um, let us fight for you for as little as $89. Let us go out there. Uh, generally speaking, um, once you've signed up, it takes about 21 days for the company to respond. If they don't respond, we go to step two and three. If need be, we will push them into small claims, force them to at least show the evidence, allow you the chance to show your evidence and mediate before. Most of these, 80% of these cases get mediated before they go for a judge. If the company really thinks that they have so much against you and you are absolutely not worth it to them. They won't budge. They won't even reply. They will say, you know, come and fight it. We're ready for you. So you need to know your history. You need to know truthfully what you have done. You need to know if you have a whole string of different warnings and violations. We can only do our very best on our side and follow our steps with your help to get you reactivated. Have a great day.